Hey everyone, and welcome to this module, Gaining Customer Insights with Analytics Cloud. This is for the Solutions Architect persona, and we are in LifeRay DXP 7.3. There's only one key module takeaway to keep in mind. Analytics Cloud allows businesses to monitor customer engagement across a variety of scopes, thus empowering them to create compelling content for their desired audiences. Our use case is back to the Livingston Hotels and Resorts. Livingston Hotels and Resorts wants to optimize the contents on its various digital channels. In order to do this, they want to use data analytics to determine what types of content attract the most user attention and analyze how users spend their time on Livingston's various sites. With Analytics Cloud, both of these things are going to be easy once we get them set up. The way that we'll measure our success will be with these two KPIs to increase user engagement through content optimization and improve personalization aspects on the platform. So what is Analytics Cloud? LifeRay Analytics Cloud is a SaaS solution designed to work with LifeRay DXP in order to provide people analytics, interaction analytics, segmentation, and personalization. As you can see over here on the right, we have a dashboard that is showing the interest trends among some users. So people analytics. We have our key features, first of which is profile data. We have aggregate profile data from LifeRay and custom data sources. We're seeing that up in the top right here. We have activity data. We can analyze user activity over a variety of time spans. As you can see over here on the right, we're looking at a specific day's worth of activity. We have intelligence, which calculates the interest based on engagement and the visited topics. We can see that this user is the most interested in studying DXPs, who isn't, and then second is modern portals, and so on. Then we have our interaction analytics, and we'll be understanding these through asset reports. They provide summaries on how content is performing across various metrics. It's views, submissions, locations, and abandonment. The great thing about Analytics Cloud is we're not just looking at sites or pages, but we're actually gonna get down to the assets. So we can see this kind of data for specific blogs, forms, web content, as well as any other documents and media that we might be using. Next, we have page and path reports. So page reports illustrate activity on a page, including the engagement, abandonment rates, and breakdowns of who is visiting the page. The path reports break down how users are arriving at a particular page. As useful for analyzing pathway performance, can be used to determine which pathways need to be improved or emphasized to increase specific traffic. So not only are we able to understand how our users are interacting with pages, but we can see how they're getting to them in the first place. Next, topics and engagement. Analytics Cloud allows you to break down content by topic and measured engagement. It's useful for determining what types of content attract the highest engagement, and can be used to optimize pages. For Livingston Hotels and Resorts, I might find that for a particular use case, Skiing scores way higher with certain demographic. That is going to inform my content strategy moving forward. Next is user segments. So user segments allow users to be grouped into segments based on common characteristics and behaviors that we decide. These can include user location, screen size, pages viewed, browser, etc. Next, let's talk about digital experiences. Dynamic user segments can be used to create personalized experiences with DXP. So once we've segmented our users into groups, we can give custom tailored content to those users. Multiple versions of the same page can be created to cater to various groups of users. Depending on some of my traits, I might get a totally different page that is more appealing to me. For example, a page dedicated to a rewards program that displays a message about joining for non-members and a welcome message for users that have already joined. And it's a very basic segmentation. Next, let's talk about A-B testing. A-B testing allows for the optimization of customer experiences and conversion results. It's going to test multiple variants of the same page at once to determine which variant is the most effective at achieving a particular goal. I can have two different pages that I've designed for winter deals, and I'll see amongst my users at random which one gets more attention. When the test is concluded, the most effective variant can be published. So what are some of the competitive advantages when it comes to Analytics Cloud? Well, first and foremost, its native integration with LifeRay DXP is very powerful. It's built with the same technologies. It isn't something that we're tacking on. Everything is going to integrate seamlessly. The option for tailored reports saves you time so you don't have to sift through tons and tons of raw data. The native optimization capabilities, the native optimization capabilities makes it really easy for your segment use. We can get insights from both anonymous and identified users. There's great visual analytics for content, pages, sites, and applications. There's account profile analytics for B2B commerce. So if you are using commerce, you have the opportunity to create a really stunning buyer experience tailored for your customers. All right, time for a knowledge check. The three main services that LifeRay Analytics Cloud provides are people analytics, interaction analytics, and segmentation and personalization. Analytics Cloud enables businesses to aggregate data from multiple sources across LifeRay to create a single customer view 
thus gaining a deeper insight into the profiles of individual users. A distinct advantage of Analytics Cloud, as opposed to other data analytics services, is its ability to monitor data at not only the site and page levels, but also the individual assets. Remember, the blogs, the other documents and media, 